AITA for posting a picture of my baby? Me 28F and my ex-husband 29 meters Ben got divorced at the beginning of last year. After we got divorced I found out I was pregnant. I decided to keep the baby and in November of last year my son Christopher was born. Chris lives with me Sunday to Friday and on Saturdays he stays with Ben. My husband's new fiancé Genevieve. Yes with a, J. Is acting like Chris as her son. She is trying to teach Chris to call her mommy even though that is what he calls me. She criticizes my purchases in baby products and calls me cheap and even tells me she should have part custody even though she and Ben aren't even married. What pushed me too far was when I posted a picture of my baby. Genevieve had the audacity to tell me I can't take a picture of my baby without her permission. I gave birth to the baby and I take care of him for most of the week. The worst part is that she posts pictures of the baby and when she does, she makes it seem like he is her son. After this instance I couldn't handle her anymore. I gave her and Ben an ultimatum about how she was treating Chris like he is her son when he only sees her once a week and she isn't even his official stepmom. Ben said I am being an ass and Jen is just being nice. AITA? NTA you should get a lawyer involved in your custody agreement. If this woman remains in your son's life, you are going to have to set clear boundaries. Your ex doesn't seem to understand how confusing this will be in the future. WTF? NTA. I was waiting for you to say your ex didn't want you to post pics of the baby but ITBWAS his girlfriend? How is that her decision in any way, shape, or form? NTA. Please document all these conversations and talk with your lawyer. NTA. I would also check your state laws on parental alienation. It's one thing to want to love the child of your partner, spouse. It's another to pretend to be mom when mom is in the picture and you are the main caretaker. NTA. But stop letting her get you riled up. Just tell her you're not interested in her opinion on baby products. That you're not discussing sharing custody with her. That you will take whatever pictures you want of your son. Don't dignify her nonsense with the emotional reaction she's clearly trying to provoke. Just say, I'm not discussing this with you. NTA. She's acting like she has more rights than you. Even if she marries Ben that's not true. Does Ben really not see the hypocrisy over the photos? NTA. Next time she posts a pic of Chris I would leave the comment, please do not post pictures of Chris. Without permission from Ben or myself since we are his actual parents. That should quiet her false narrative and take her down a peg or two. Absolutely not NTA. The woman sounds unhinged. If I were you, I'd report every single picture that she posts of your son and get them taken down. Post all the pictures you want and exclude her too. NTA there is a reason you divorced Ben. And now he's reminding you what those reasons are. It sounds like Ben will never have your back and will actively support any GF who tries to start drama with you. He probably enjoys it. But when you said you were giving Ben an ultimatum, what does that mean? Is there anything you can do about it? NTA. This sounds like the plot of a Lifetime movie I would be very wary of this woman. NTA. She has crossed the line at trying to teach the child to call her mommy. The other stuff isn't great but not really bad. Like not clarifying this isn't your actual son. However, the most likely thing that will happen from here on out is that she will try to convince the child. She is the only mother and that lady you stay with during the week isn't your real mom. You have to nip this BS in the bud. 
NTA. Nip this crap in the bud now. It's only gonna get worse. You are the mother not her. NTA. If this custody isn't court established get it. Make sure it's clear who the child's mother is. Ask for full custody and request child support. Heck feel free to require Ben only has daytime supervised visits and keep copies of every post his girlfriend has made and message sent as proof that she might be conspiring to steal your child so she should not be near him. Or at the least there's attempting parental alienation. And document all conversations with Ben. And feel free to call her out on social media that Chris is not her son. She posts that she doesn't think you should be feeding Chris blah blah then, as his mother that's my choice. And so on. Heck if there's a way to report the photos as unauthorized etc. Go for it. Make copies of the posts and photos for ongoing documentation but then report them. But don't block her so you can keep an eye on her. And keep bookmarks of her profile URLs in case she blocks you. NTA sounds like you need to lawyer up again. NTA. You are the mother. Jay is not. Keep doing your best but watch out for Jay. You may need to look into a custody agreement that prevents Jay from being alone with your child. NTA. Remind Ben that his GF has zero rights over your child. I'd also tell your ex that his GF is not allowed to publicly post photos of your child. Much less try to pass him off as her own. They will definitely protest but you should put say it and try to put your foot down anyway. NTA. You need to take some serious steps and watch out before she kidnaps your kid. This not just being nice. NTA and beware. After they get married they can try to modify the custody agreement because they'd become a real family. Especially if they make more money than you. NTA. Get custody change. Record all of this. Pressure him. It's your child not hers document. Document. NTA. Ben needs to understand that Miss J being his bedwarmer gives her no rights to your child. And either you can settle it civilly between you. Or IMHO the better option would be to take Ben to court and get these issues settled along with everything else that is involved with the custody and support of a child with two co-parents. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.